Peening copper using a ball peen hammer is perhaps one of the easiest ways to add interest to a piece of copper. Ball peen hammers come in a variety of sizes. For most of the peening that I do on copper, I use the two hammers on the right. These two are quality hammers that are very well balanced. If the hammers are not well balanced, it will put a lot of stress on the wrist and forearm. Now this is particularly important if you're going to do a lot of peening. I don't do a lot of jewelry, but I wanted a couple of smaller ball peen hammers, so I made these. You can find one of my YouTube videos which demonstrates how to make these hammers. Now these are two inch square pieces of copper that I cut out for the Copper Finishes and Textures number one video. Nice looking pieces of copper, but really they just don't say anything. They're not interesting. They don't have any character. By the simple process of peening, we can make these copper blanks more interesting. Before doing the peening, I've annealed these copper blanks. Now, if you're not familiar with annealing, I've done a YouTube video on copper annealing. To show some examples, I'll peen on this small anvil. A block of wood. Piece of hard rubber and several layers of old sweatshirt. Peening on the anvil. Because the material has no place to go, it becomes thinner where it is peened, or where the hammer strikes the copper. Now with the wood block, the wood is a bit softer, and the peen marks go in a bit deeper. This is hard rubber. This hard rubber is softer than wood, so the peen marks go in even deeper. The copper is being forced into the hard rubber. This folded up sweatshirt material is even softer and the copper can move deeper. You can see the copper is beginning to curl up on the edges. Once the copper is wire brushed, you can get a better idea of the peening. Now this is an example of peening against the anvil. This is peening against the wood. As you can see, this is just a little deeper. Peening against the hard rubber, even deeper. And then, peening against the folded up sweatshirt. It's not only deeper, but the pattern is very irregular. Oh, I almost forgot to include this. This is another piece that has been peened on the folded up sweatshirt. I'll turn this over and gently hammer it flat. What this does pushes some of those bumps back to the front, which changes the appearance.